YouTube, what's going on, man? Today we are back with another video, and as you can see by the title, today I will be showing you how to create a website, man. So, you know, I don't like to talk too much, man. We're gonna get right into the video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot. We're gonna go a long way with that, man. I'm gonna keep dropping y'all bangers, man. So, I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's get right into the video. So, this is another email that I created for my media team. We're gonna start the free trial. So we're gonna go ahead and this is like you starting from scratch, you know what I'm saying? So take these same steps that I'm taking. Sign up with email. We're gonna do sign up with Google. Since I'm already logged in. Okay, cool. We enter like swimmer. Alright, so my trial just started going in January 6th. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh I don't want help setting up. Y'all don't need help, cause you got me. You don't need help. But nah, let's get right into it. First things first is you wanna add your product. So we're gonna go ahead and add our first product. I'm gonna go to the products tab right here, add product. Now, I will be making a video like it is my brand. So like I'm starting Dead Romance over my brand. Uh, so yeah, just to let y'all know. So Dead Romance OG Hood Hoodie. Let's say, all right, cool. So here's where you will put your description. I don't really know what I'm a put it for my description, but usually I do use chat GPT for uh, my description. You wanna use AI where you can, cause it's gonna make everything way more easy. So here, Boom. I got all my images uploaded. Let's say we price this at 60. That's what my price at. Cost per item, we ain't gonna do that, none of that, da, da, da. okay. Continue. I'm gonna put, using my hoodies weigh about a pound, I'm just gonna put this. Y'all make sure y'all putting in all this information cause in the beginning when I started up, I did have a case where, <clears throat> I did have a case where I forgot to put this. So I had to pay for the shipping. If you don't put the weight then Shopify can't automatically calculate it. So I just quit. And also I will go ahead and add the customs information in. You plan on going big bro. So you might get an order from overseas. And if you don't put that in now, then you're gonna have to put it in later for each order, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just go ahead and put that in. But anyways, we got different colors. Um, yeah, that's cool. We got black, we got blue, pink, green, black, gray. Okay, cool. Am I missing anything? Two, three, four, five, all right, cool. Done. Now with each of these, what you wanna do is, you wanna add another variant. Option name, add another option. Okay, now this is the size. So small, medium, large. And then you always gotta go XL. I don't know why some brands don't be going XL. But okay, cool. Now that that's that, um, <clears throat> sometimes you gotta do like this. I'm trying to add the image with each color. Uh, you might gotta press edit right here. Uh-uh, that's not it. So hold on, y'all. Okay, I don't know how I did it last time, but <clears throat> this is the most simple way. So we're just gonna click in here, scroll down here, and for each one, you're gonna go ahead and add your media in. So, blood, blood. Great. And then you wanna click save. So, now that you got all those in, you wanna click save. And so y'all, usually what I do do is, usually what I do do is I have a collage picture of all of these in the front and so i put that right here so you would just press add from url and then you would you feel me move it and put it right there uh in this example i created a collage because that's what i always do but a quick tip when you're creating your site and you're just now starting out i would split my colors up into multiple products so meaning i would have a product for the black i'll have a product listing for the cream i'll have a product listing for the blue what this does is it makes it look like you have more products on your page than you actually have uh hopefully making the customer feel more comfortable you feel me to press the purchase button Here's where you add just a description. So let me go to chat GBT real quick. Or actually Shopify got this new AI thing. Let's try it out. I haven't used it yet. Um, this is 100% cotton. This is a uh, 65% cotton. Okay, cool. Okay, so what you want to do is we're going to keep that. I don't like to the, the, unleash your boldness. We're just going to say. Daryl Romance OG hoodie. Made from 65, 65 
I'm gonna say 60-40. Yeah, that makes sense. 40 cotton poly blend. Uh, this hoodie features unique puff print words and is our staple piece. Stay warm and make a statement with this must have item. Okay, cool. So now we got that done. So now that the product is done, we're gonna go ahead and add it to a collection that's on the home page. Make sure it's in the collection. I'm trying to make sure we're not missing anything else. We got everything, everything look good to go. And now we're gonna press save. Oh. All right, I thought I had to sneeze, but all right, y'all, here go the fun part. We're gonna actually create the online store. Okay, so here you can see I already uploaded a Dawn theme, but if it's not right there, all you're gonna do is press add theme, visit theme store, and then it's gonna, actually, let me just show y'all. You're gonna press collections, then you're gonna press, no, actually, you're gonna press all themes, then you're gonna go to free. And usually it's at the top, there go right there, Dawn theme, you're gonna go ahead and download that theme. Then after you do that, then your screen gonna look like mine. Then you can come here and customize it. So. We'll go ahead and customize. All right, so this is probably the part you came to the video for. You really wanna know how to make your site look good and we're gonna show you how to do that. So first thing first, you wanna, I I'll always, this is what I started with, like the my store shit, so. All right, so this is what you wanna do. You wanna go to theme settings right here. After you make sure that I say middle left, you're gonna press select image. Now. I'm finna upload my images real quick. All right, so we're waiting on those to upload right now. I added the little spinning one in there. I know y'all like that sometimes too, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and put the little spinning one in there and see how it look. Um, if you want one of these little spinning logos, bro, just go to Fiverr, bro. They be charging like five, $10. They gonna get back with you in, within 24 hours. But, you know, I like the simple sites. That's why it's not on my site right now. I just had this put up, you feel me? So. Oh, I said I'm gonna use it. Next thing is we wanna change this image banner right here. So what we're gonna do is select image, add images. And right here I have an image that I know I wanna use. I know this is gonna look hard. But boom, okay, cool. So this image overlay opacity, we're gonna take that off. My image is a bit bigger than it's supposed to be, so let me fix that real quick. All right, y'all, so I'm back. Uh, let's see if this works out how I want it to work out. This works. This is how I want it to look. So next thing's next. This right here, bro, get rid of it. Browse our latest products. That's corny. That's lame. Nobody want to that. That's right over my picture, bro. That's messing up the site. You know what I'm saying? Shop all. Mm, you can keep that if you want to. I would change the color of the button, but I'm deleting it. I don't need that. Feel me? Now my site is starting to look nice and clean. Just imagine somebody clicking on your site and they're seeing this. We're gonna change the welcome to your store, to our store button, boom. And we're gonna change this to free shipping. Everybody love free shipping. We're gonna get that AOV up. If you know, you know, we're gonna do another video on that later, but next thing next, featured products. I would say new arrivals or something like that. Okay, cool. So now let's click on our product page. I want y'all to see how it's going to look. And before we do that, we're going to go back real quick. So real quick, I told y'all I was going to come back and add that picture of the collection post. Let's see if I can add that real quick. Okay, guys. So right here, I have the group image right here loaded up. So now as you can see, when somebody clicks on the products, uh, this will come up first. Okay, so boom, I got my size chart uploaded, uploaded as well. So boom, you got the collection post, you got the individual post, and then you got the size chart. Feel me? So let me show you what the size chart look like. Boom, got that look all professional, neat. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save, or it's already saved. Yeah, we're gonna click, yeah, damn, it's already saved. Okay, cool. So now let's go back over to our online store and let's see how things are looking so far. Let's say preview. Okay, so boom, somebody come to the site. It's loading still. All right, so you got the DR spinning logo. You got the little, yeah, right there. Okay, cool, cool. And then you got this. So you see how I got all the collection posts. Boom, somebody click here. As they click black, blue, pink, cream, gray, it changes with it. Then you got your description right here along with their size chart if they need that as well. So it's looking pretty solid right now. Um, let's go back to the homepage. So, Boom, we're gonna customize the theme a little bit more. 
we're gonna talk about your menu bar, your header at the top. So here I will usually just have home, shop, all, like contact. Um, how you edit this is you're gonna go out of here. You're gonna click uh, navigation. And then you're gonna click main menu. And okay, we don't want the catalog. We wanna name that to shop all. Okay, cool, apply changes. And then lastly, we already got the contact page. All right, that's perfect. So when creating a website, you need to have a policies page. So what you would do is you just go to settings, you go down to policies right here. Um, and then you can just press create from template. Um, usually what I do is I go in chat GPT and I let it create all these things for me based off how my company operates. So let's say, you say no refunds, I'll just put that in there, create a policy for, or, or create a written return and refund policy for no refunds. I will just simply copy and paste that and put that here. But for now, we're just gonna put create from template. Same thing with the policy, uh, privacy policy. Um, same thing with the terms of service. And same thing with the well, the shipping policy, you just have to put something. Uh, I would go to chat GPT as well, but we're just gonna put some there, put some there, you feel me? But that's the information you would put in real quick. All right, so after you got your policies done, you're gonna click save. So we're gonna exit out of here. All right, next, what you wanna do is you wanna go to navigation. Once you go to navigation, you wanna go to footer menu. Once you go to footer menu, you wanna press add menu, and you're gonna add these in. So let's say refund policy then you're going to press search and press policies refund policy then you're going to press add and then you're going to do the same for all of these All right, now that you have that there, you're gonna press save menu. All right, so now you go to your store. Let's go to our online store. Let's press customize. What you wanna do is you can go here. You're gonna press the drop down menu, add block, and then you're gonna press menu. So now all of your policies are gonna pop up right here. I think you can change the title, quick link. Yeah, so right here, I'm just gonna put information. Say, and cool, so now you got your refund policy, shipping policy, term service policy, and then your privacy policy. So you got all of that set up. I would really remove this down here to subscribe to our emails. Because uh, if you create an email pop up like you're supposed to, and I'm gonna put that in another video through Clavio, uh, email check, whatever you use, you already have a pop up when it pops up on the screen, or you have an embedded uh, link inside of your website. So uh, let's take a look at the final product. This is the finished product of the site. Uh, it came out looking pretty good. I changed a bit about it. Uh, I didn't really like how, I don't know, bro, when you got one product on the site, it looked kind of weird, bro. Like, I really never had a one product store. Uh, I always had multiple variants, but yeah, man, this is the finished product right here. Um, please make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be dropping more bangers like this. Uh, you feel me? And shit, we're gonna run it up this year, 2024, but hey, like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you out. This is a basic run through. And if I miss something in the video, make sure you comment, ask a question, I'm responding to all comments, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate everybody tapping in, man. And shit, be better in this video soon, man. We out.